Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Thursday, the 18th of November. It was 36 degrees this morning. It looks like it's 39 now. It's kicking up. Is that what it was? Something like that. Cloudy. I think there's supposed to be rain at some point today. And, uh, anyway, I sat down a little bit. I was waiting for my video to turn HD and, um, reminding me I haven't Thank you guys for the um, six year video. A lot of incredible comments from you guys. You guys are so nice. Look at this. Look at all the morning doves up in that tree up there. Not a one of them cooing. Usually they have that mournful sound. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for all the nice comments as always, but you guys are really pouring it on thick on the six year video. What do you think? Should we bust out a Friday or a Thursday? Let's go and get it done. War wagon today because it's supposed to be rain. Well there, Mama. Yes, We've made it to Thursday. We have. Man. For some reason, this week seems to be flying right along. Nice. Yeah. Weekend is upon us. Yes. <laughs> it was a nice, dry drive to work. That's, yeah. That was pleasing. Not too many crazy people. Truckers driving in the middle lane and everybody having to scramble to get around yeah, them. Me crazy. I wish that somebody could tell me why they do that. Yeah, get the heck. Do you not see that everybody's panicking? Yeah. Trying to get around yeah, you. It's a total nightmare. Yeah. Well, anyway, Mom, have a wonderful day. You too. Hope and you I have might it. see you, seen you once yesterday. I, I know it. You were a busy boy. Yeah. All righty. All right. We're off to it. Sounds good. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. So let's do a little 1330 drain plug. Little show and tell thing here. I keep getting asked this. It's, I mean, all you gotta do is look. But anyway, your main engine drain is a T45. That is a Torx 45. This is a very special. I showed you guys when I had one apart. There is three holes that are being drained from one drain plug don't ever try to like put something different in there you have to use this i mean somebody may have come up with some useless magnet thing on the end of there you don't need it you see the stuff that came out of this thing i just blew it with brake cleaner there's no junk on it it's a bunch of hogwash you're throwing your money away but anyway T45, you have to use the Torx. The transmission on the right side over here that I'm sitting next to is a six millimeter Allen. Way too many times I see people cramming a T40 Torx because they see this one real easy and go, oh, well, the clutch must be the same. Nope. They cram a T40 in there and guess what happens? You're doing an, this is out of a different bike. You're doing an extraction like this. You will destroy that drain plug. Now on the 2020 and newer spiders, the brake arm kind of gets in the way and uh, this fits as you can see, but to help you, sometimes they're tighter than others to get that clutch side off, use a long six millimeter. All I have for a long one is a quarter inch and the amount of torque, the quarter inch handles it no problem whatsoever, but uh, that makes it easier. But don't get this mixed up. Nothing to do with the torques on the clutch side. Boy, that color's going all over the place. T45 for the engine on the left-hand side, a six millimeter Allen for the clutch side. Don't get this mixed up. Let me tell you how hard it is to get one of these out once you strip them, especially on the new ones, the new 1330s, the old ones, you pretty, ma pretty much have easy access to it. These new ones, don't mess with it. Or you better have a fancy, like I used on this, a fancy extraction uh, tool to get that thing out. This is very simple. If that confuses you, I'm promising you, you do not need to need to touch your spider. I promise you, don't touch it. This could cost you.
mama. Started out wonderful today and it was dry most of the day. Yeah, kind of. Uh, for the ride home. I did get some LED replacement headlight bulbs for this thing. Good. So uh, they'll be Maybe here, we'll be they'll be here Monday. Then we can see on the way home yep. Monday. Anything will be better than this. And oddly enough, it's cheaper for a set of those than it is those Sylvania silvers or whatever those things we used yeah. to put in the element. They definitely work really good. They do. But boy, they did not last long. It was yeah. like three months or so, whoop, one go out. Yeah. And then it was like 55 bucks or something from Walmart for another two pack. Yeah, they weren't cheap. And don't bother doing the one that went out. Go ahead and do them both because it'd be yeah. like two or three days later the other one would go out. I God know it. dang it. Should I just did them both at the yeah, same time. Yeah, because it's not an easy thing to get behind there and get Yeah, the out. one on the uh, intake side was, was a bummer. A lot of, there was some sharp plastic or something. I don't yeah. remember. I don't know what it's like on this. It should be easy. I don't Hold think the, the it has an intake thing over there, but it's a different shape than what the element was. Well, hey, Mom. All right, Paul. Let's bounce. Sounds good. All right. All right. So we did our tractor supply stop, but look at look at their sign. It's all but non-existent now. The lights are. I know. They're slowly burning. Yeah, out. they're just all going away, aren't they? Get up there with the ladder. Yeah, yeah, get up there and be brave. It's only about 15 stories in the air. <laughs> All right, Mama. All right. <laughs> do a quick little red apple stop here. I don't know what she needed. Oh, I know. She, she always fixed me a little something special on my birthday. Tomorrow's my B-Day. How about that? So I found this smoking deal at a tractor supply. Um, I mostly use clutched electric screwdrivers or it's not really an impact. I guess you'd call it a screwdriver. I don't ever use it for in the screw in the true sense of a screwdriver, you know, driving screws, whatever. And it's always got a bit of some sort. Whoa, does not want to focus on that. Apologize for that. But anyway, uh, I like the clutched ones. This is a really old, this thing's probably, I don't know, 10 or better years. Maybe, yeah, it's more than 10 years old. But anyway, uh, I've got the newer versions of these at work. Now, pretty much switched everything over to Milwaukee, brushless. But um, impacts, I don't use them that much. I, I still see the young guys using these things and they just destroy stuff. But anyway, the smaller impacts, um, less damage, but I don't use them that much, but when I need them, I use them. And this is one I've, I've had for probably right at about nine or 10 years. And, um, finally it got left by, uh, someone close to me, <laughs> my, namely my son got left on a forklift about three different times in the pouring rain overnight. And, uh, well, she's not as strong as what she used to be. And it tends to, uh, eat the batteries a lot faster. Also a, a Bosch. And, um, anyway, I, some of the projects I've done here at, um, uh, at home, home projects more than bikes, uh, using these things on a bike's just not a good idea. And I see, you can, you can tell the, least experienced guys rattle gun in these things dude that's just not good but uh anyway this thing's long since been weak i um have a, a milwaukee one at work that i use now and this is now a, a home home bodied one but anyway found this deal tonight i've been looking at these this is a dewalt and like the Milwaukee's that I have at work, it's brushless. And when you're working on motorcycles or anything where there's fumes or anything that can ignite, uh, you want to go brushless. These things, when they're running, you just see sparks flying everywhere in these things. Not a good idea in a shop environment. In fact, uh, I, I've seen a couple things. I've seen these things light off at work several times. But... Uh, you know, I'm a huge Milwaukee fan. The DeWalt stuff 
from what I've seen, you know, guys at work that have them, they've all pretty much switched to Milwaukee's now too, but the DeWalt's have been fantastic. So anyway, smoke and deal with a battery and the battery charger comes in a little bag. It's a small battery. You know, I don't know what the amp is on this one. Not very big, but it's uh, probably bigger than that little 10.8 volt thing from uh, from Bosch. And that thing lasts, I mean, long time. The Milwaukee's last a long time as well. But how cool is that? I'm bummed. Love it. Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, oh man. What? It's amazing today. It turned so rainy at the end. It did. It stopped. Well, it's kind of a mist out there, but it finally stopped. Good Lord. Now it's just wet fall. Yeah, and literally the worst part of it was driving home. Yeah. Oh, we got a... Oh, we've had it. But it was being sold to another dealer. And uh, they decided they didn't want it. But anyway, we got a, um R18B. It's a... Basically, it's the transcontinental without the trunk on the back and some other goodies and stuff they have on there. We do have a transcontinental, but that dealer's going to take that. I don't know what the deal is, why the trade or whatever. But they're putting that R18B into um, uh, demo status. They're going, you need to take that thing home for a little bit and play with it. But uh, I don't know. There's so much interest in that one. That one will probably sell right away. Of course. That one, the rock mode in that one seems to shake a lot more. But of course, when I went up there to like fiddle with it and maybe take it for a quick test ride, it started raining out there. So I was into that. I did see the salesman ride around, take it back up. I don't know what he was doing with it. Probably putting gas in or something. But anyway, and tomorrow I turn 29 years old again. Oh, yeah, I like that 29. Every year, 29 is just keeps coming up. I yeah, don't know Yeah, 29's why. a good, good number. Yeah. <laughs> I vote for that one. Yeah. Where did that even come from? I don't know. Oh, you're 29 again this year. Yeah. What is it, 29? Because you're still young. The only time I freaked out about an age was when I turned 30. I don't know why that freaked me out. I think when I was a kid or something, I, I thought when you turn 30, you're just like over the hill, you're done, you wore out. It's crazy. I was okay with 30. 40. I didn't like 40 at all. Yeah, 40 didn't bother me a bit. Yeah, that just, I don't know. That just, yeah. That's just not right. Yeah. Yeah, 30 freaked me out a bit. We're still living in Portland. Portland. Yeah, it's before yeah. we moved back to Texas. and That was cool. It's just another day. Yeah, can't change it. Me talking about the rain, now it's yeah. starting to come back down again. Here, here it comes again. Yeah. I was talking to a young guy at work, and he's 20. You know, I was talking about, he goes, Do you ever not feel like a kid? And I go, Nope. I mean, I literally, I'm sure, you know, if, if you could meet my 20 self, me, it was a lot different, but, you know, I don't feel like I think any different. I still. Like the things I liked before. I mean, things change. You know, technology changes and gadgets and stuff like that are all cooler and stuff like that. But I still think about kind of the same things I did when I was a kid, you know. Yeah. Same things, you know, make you happy, sad, glad, mad. All that good stuff. Still love the motorcycles. Just everything changes. But at the time, that's the most current stuff. And that was the coolest stuff. That's what's really weird is to look back at old bikes that were fast and fun and think man that thing is so old and then some of them you look back on and you go that's so ugly <laughs> but it was really cool at the time super cool thinking of all the race miles you put on those things and now you wouldn't even ride one fast for nothing <laughs> you can't ride that thing fast brakes are weak horrible handling it wasn't at the time. Man nope. out some cool it stuff. Out. Yeah. It's weird that that kind of stuff just sneaks by and you look back. Just think of. But I still, you know, the ones that I owned and stuff, I still very, very fond of them. Fond memories. Thankfully, I got pictures. The only one I don't have 
my uh, FC 600. Um, I don't. I think I have one picture, and it's weird how I got in a, Kelly got in an accident in the truck, and I went out there and took a picture, and it just happened to get captured in the picture. And then my um, my uh, is that was it an F one thousand? Yeah, the F one thousand, yeah. the VFR one thousand R. Yeah. Um, very few pictures of that in the snow. Cause I yeah. used to. Snow didn't stop me from riding, no. road to work, everything in the pouring down snow, frozen. I just didn't didn't care. We must have some crazy balance skills back then when you were a kid. There's oh, no yeah. ABS or actually AB, ABS in the snow for ice freaks me out. I don't like that at all. Even in a modern car, I don't like that feeling of the ABS. It feels like you accelerate. <laughs> Wouldn't do that now. Like I used to say, I, I crunch like an old bag of Doritos now. Yeah. We Before it was a bag of marshmallows. I know. <laughs> yeah, we kind of bounced. It was easy. Yeah. Are you coming in for your close-up again? Danny McGoo. Hello. You're such a goofy old mutt. Yeah. Comes okay. in the shop with me and it turns around and leaves. <laughs> Although when Kelly and I go out in the shop, we're... Out there goofing around when we got home. He goes in, does like he does, like during the summer, he crawls under the car. He go over there and Kelly Cal goes, look at him. He slides up underneath the Acura in there. You're then he goes up. so deep asleep that he doesn't, I mean, you literally got to shake him to wake him up. He didn't do that tonight, but we've locked him in the garage because well, she goes, no, he wasn't in there. No, he was under a car asleep. So asleep he wouldn't wake up. Huh. You have poundage per square inch on your jump feet, dog. <sighs> well, Mama, we done rattled on here forever. Oh, righty. I reckon we should go. Birthday Eve. Yeah, birthday Eve, little birthday boy. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Friday or Saturday. Heck yeah. And thank all you guys across the Great Pond and down under. Yes. It's uh, My birthday's probably almost over with some of you guys. Thanks for all the birthday wishes already. You guys are sweet. That's kind of cool, you know, with all you guys. I get happy birthdays for, for two full days, it seems like. Yeah, that's nice. That's wild. As I, all the happy birthdays start coming in, I go, oh, yeah, that's right. It's already tomorrow there. Yeah, that's so weird <laughs> to think. Yeah. Well, anyway... In advance, and for the current people that's already wished me happy birthday in advance for the people tomorrow, thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> and that's well, it. That's all I got. All right. All right. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. <laughs>